friends, this is Lata Sahu and welcome to my channel Lata Study Corner. In today's class, we are going to understand about integer and its properties. So, first of all, let us know about integers. What are integers? Integer set is denoted by capital Z or capital I. So, what are integers? Integers is a set of natural numbers, a positive natural numbers, 0 and negative natural numbers. So, integer set I is equal to negative of natural numbers dot dot minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 dot 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 okay so there are infinite number of negative natural numbers in left side there are infinite number of positive natural numbers in right side clear so next is what understand about absolute value absolute value of an integer what is absolute value of an integer Absolute value of an integer is its numerical value regardless of its side. Absolute value of a positive a is a positive a. Absolute value of a negative a is also a positive a. So, what is absolute value of an integer? Absolute value of an integer is its numerical value regardless of its uh, sign. Suppose absolute value of minus 5 is plus 5. Absolute value of plus 5 is also plus 5. Now, next is what? The important thing is we must know the properties of integer. So, what are the important properties of integers? The properties of integers are commutative property, associative property, distributive property, multiplicative identity, additive identity, multiplicative inverse and additive inverse. Let us know one by one. So, integer first property is commutative property. Integers are commutative under addition and also under multiplication. Let us see under addition a plus b is equal to b plus a. Example 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2. Is it 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 2 is also 5. So, integers are commutative under addition. Integers are commutative under multiplication also. Example 2 into 5 is equal to 5 into 2. 2 into 5 is 10. 5 into 2 is also 10. Next is associative property. Integers are associative under addition and multiplication. So, let us see under addition a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. Let us verify. Example 2 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 5. Yes or no? See, 2 plus 3 plus 5 is 8 and 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 5. So, 2 plus 8 is 10 and 5 plus 5 is also 10. So, integers are associative under addition. Integers are associative under multiplication also. See, same way, 2 into 3 into 5 is equal to 2 into 3 into 5. Yes or no? See, 2 into 3 into 5 is 15. So, 2 into 15 is 30. Like that, 2 into 3 is 6 and 6 into 5 is 30. So, a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. So, integers are associative under addition and under multiplication. Next is distributive property. What is distributive property of an integer? Distributive property is a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c. You see a into b plus a into c. Let us take one example. 2 into 5 plus 3 is equal to 2 into 5 plus 2 into 3. 2 into 5 plus 2 into 3. Let us verify. Suppose uh, 5 plus 3 is 8. So 2 into 8 is 16. Now here see 2 5 is 10 plus 2, 3, ja, 6. So, 10 plus 6, 16. We got LHS equal to RHS. So, friends, this is a distributive property. So, our next property is additive identity. Edit 0 is an additive identity. Any number plus 0 is equal to the number itself. Like 5 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 0 is 3. 2 plus 0 is 2. So, any number plus 0 is equal to the number itself. So, 0 is called additive identity. Next is multiplicative identity. 
1 is a multiplicative identity. Why? Because any number multiplied by 1 is equal to the number itself. Like 3 into 1, 3. 7 into 1, 7. So, any number multiplied by 1 is equal to the number itself. That's why 1 is multiplicative identity. Now, next is additive inverse. What is additive inverse? Suppose a number is A. Then its additive inverse is minus a. Whenever we add number with its additive inverse, we always get 0. Like 3 is a number plus its additive inverse is minus 3. So, 3 plus minus 3 is 0. So, the additive inverse of a number is a negative of that number. Like that next is multiplicative inverse. Any number when we multiply with its multiplicative inverse, we will get 1. A number like a, its multiplicative inverse is 1 by a. Okay, a number is a, its multiplicative inverse is 1 by a. When we multiply a number with its multiplicative inverse, we will get 1. Suppose a number is 3, its multiplicative inverse is, its reciprocal, that is 1 by 3. When we num multiply both, we will get always 1. So, see friends, these are the properties of integer. So, let me tell one more thing. Integer and its properties are very very important. These words I complete my video. Thanks for watching me. Subscribe my channel and press the bell button to get the latest notification and if you like my video, please share my video with your friends. Thank you.